Because you came, you're not supposed to park like that, genius. Anyway, I just finished getting my wax, y'all. And let's just say, um, I would not be looking forward to the next one. But um, she did tell me that it's supposed to hurt less when I do it um, next month. So I just pray to God it don't hurt like it did today. And the butt strip, uh, no ma'am. It feels like it's on fire, like, and I was like, Lord, please don't let me fart in this lady face. Like, I was just hoping I didn't have to fart because that's so nasty. Like, I mean, it's normal, but like, nah, it would have been nasty because she didn't have a mask on. And why are they waxing people with no mask on? Like, but like pre-COVID, like why were is that not a thing? Like you're really going between someone's legs and you're not wearing a mask. And then you have a fan blowing at the same time directly on the cootie cat. Like I'm not understanding how this goes, but I guess whatever. If I mean, I'm clearly not going to be a waxer, so it don't matter. But anyway, y'all, um, I have my wax. Um, I have to get my eyebrows waxed as well. But instead of going to one of those um, those salons, I decided just to go back to the same place where I got my um, Brazilian wax at. But um, there wasn't an open opening to 11.15. But luckily, the girl realized that I actually booked another appointment for my eyebrows. And she was like, oh, well, um, I can move you up. So it got moved up to 10.50. So hopefully my brows look good. It's been months. Like I've been trying to do my own maintenance on my eyebrows. So I just hope they look good and that they don't like wax off too much. And I just hope you'll be able to, to be able to like see them. But we're gonna do that um at 10:50. I just left the I just left Dollar Tree and I had to get a Fanta and some blow pops for Jasmine. And um I did that. And so I'm like, what am I going to do? Because it's like, I think it's like 10, 10 right now. So I'm like, what am I going to do before 1050 uh, besides eat? Um, I did go have a, um, a sausage McGriddle from uh, McDonald's. So like, I feel like I should wait on lunch and eat a later lunch or whatever. But I am right here. Like I'm right beside a Jersey Mike. So that's why I think I'm thinking about lunch. But I can like hold off and just wait. Um, like I can wait. But there's supposed to be a pop shelf. Um, cause I was like, what's all I did was go to Google and type in what's near me, and it's about to. There's supposed to be a pop shelf, right? But I don't see a sign for pop shelf. So what I'm gonna do is first drive slow, cause I don't want to knock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you're not in an SRT. You're not in an SRT. You can hit me today. Like, why are you driving like that through here, ma'am? Where are you going? There's pedestrians. Let alone other cars. You're not the only one, ma'am. Ooh, can I park with one hand? Let's just not park next to a car, just in case I can't. Because one thing about me, baby, I can barely drive like my parking mm -mm. that's how i know i could never be an ems driver because i would mess it up all right y'all so i also wanted to show y'all the scrub that i got and i realized like when i was exfoliating because you're supposed to exfoliate before you get your waxes right but i, I realized that i always exfoliate wet like i always do it 
when I like I wet my body on purpose. I don't, and if it seems like common sense, but yeah, you would do it dry to wet, like do it dry first, and then like to get it off, you would keep you know scrubbing or rubbing or whatever. And it makes so much more sense because when she said it, I was like, oh my gosh, I've been doing it for, I've been doing it for a couple years now, and it's been the wrong way but it's common sense but clearly it wasn't that common to me but of course i got lemongrass they had different ones like lavender and there was like a no a non-scented one but i wanted this one because um lemon or anything uh citrusy i believe yeah citrusy it should help lighten the area so that's why i got this one and it is a salt scrub they have sugar scrubs as well and i um just went to a lady that's named marissa i think and the company the company was um waxes or brazilians by claudia something like that but um the company is called claudia and it's a couple of them like they're um they're all over the place so nine times out of ten your city has one um but i'm in myrtle beach right now and i'm excited to use it and she also told me how you're actually supposed to exfoliate like two or three times a week actually so she was like every couple of days you need to keep going because it's keeping that dead um that that old skin and then also with the hair blah 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 blah, blah whatever whatever but um i'll make sure that i do what i'm supposed to um so we just got to the hospital we're gonna go see jasmine y'all and so I'm making sure I have my laptop because I'm going to eat dinner with her and just hang out here. Visitation hours are over at 8 o'clock, so I'm going to stay the full time because I won't be coming back tomorrow. To leave, um, my plan is to leave early in the morning, and um, that way I can take some of her hours. If I can't, I'm not going to stress it. If I choose to sleep in, then I choose to sleep in. It is a Sunday. Yeah, because you parked totally wrong. Stop looking at me. This old lady keeps staring at me. Like, and then when I make contact, because I stare back. That's what we're doing. We're coming to visit Jasmine. Um, I got my dinner. I'm, I feel like, <laughs> yes, ma'am. I feel like I'm literally the only person who, at least she said thank you, because I didn't have to back up. But that honestly, I wouldn't have parked that truck right there. What I would have done was just go to the back of the, well, not to, well, everybody don't want to go to the back of the parking lot. But because most people, uh, don't think about um the trucks and how they are i would have went to the back and back then and that way your the back of the truck can just be hanging in the bushes but you should at least have more space but i did back up so she can get more space but i still think she need more space but whatever i did my part as a good citizen but gotta put my mask on I twist my mask to make them tighter. So if you ever see me doing that, that's exactly what I'm doing. So if you didn't know that, now you know. You can do it too. Um, I got this headband and a couple other ones that came in a pack. Um, and they have the buttons on them so they don't hurt your ears because I use them for work. I got them from Amazon. I was trying to think. I need to hide my purse because somebody will break in over this purse. Okay, I have my bag. I'm carrying my Marc Jacobs. <laughs> my Marc Jacobs today.
wanted to show y'all the everything that I bought from Target because I showed y'all me going to Target. And so I got me like this little shower caddy thing where you put your soaps, face washes, bar soaps. You can hang your towel, loofahs, whatever, whatever. I don't recommend using loofahs or nothing like that, but whatever you do, it's all up to you. And it comes with those, um, those two sticky things that go on the back. Mm. whatever it goes in the back and um the suction helps it like stick to the shower oh okay so you're gonna slide them on the bottom okay just follow the picture but yeah i got that this was like 16 dollars from target they're having some of like their um going back to school sales um like especially for college Oof. oh wow all right y'all another one is um i went and got some shampoo and conditioner for my hair i didn't wash my hair while i was at my mom's house but i didn't style it like i, I um excuse me i didn't even blow dry it i just let it air dry and i should have blow dried it that's why it's so frizzy and stuff like that but i grabbed me some um tresemme um if this one is supposed to be rich moisture seven times the moisture shampoo and conditioner set and I got the reason I got that shampoo and conditioner because I tried the hairspray and I liked it. So I was like, well, let me just try the shampoo and conditioner. And then I needed some body washes. And so this one is called um, Up and Up. And I guess this is similar to like if you go to Walmart and you get their great value or something. I'm not sure. But it's Up and Up Reviving Body Wash. The scent is pomegranate and lemon. And it smells really good. I smell it in the store. And another thing is that it's for a good price. So all of my college students out there that want to, um, you know, still smell good, but also at a cheaper price, um, especially when you're trying to budget and stuff like that. Cause I do have my Dove and I use that stuff too, but um, I already have some of it. And so I wanted some stuff that smelled good because when it, came, when it comes to Dove, I just want to get just the plain scent and um, like the, Un, I know it's plain so unscented and then like for sensitive skin that's what I use in there or like super dry skin so I use that type of stuff I don't get scents and then this one the St. Ives soothing body wash oatmeal and shea butter y'all grabbed the last one so that's how I knew it must have smelled really nice um but of course it really does smell nice that shea butter and then um once I got to the register to ring it up the guy was like oh my gosh we had those on sale one time and um, I bought so many of them. He was like, it really smells really good. And I was like, okay. So I did pick a good one. Cause you know, sometimes I'm like, he just saying that cause he wanted me to buy it. But no, I was at the register. Like I was already gonna buy it. So there's no need. And then shout out to Janaya. Um, Janaya had posted something on Twitter and was like, I'm stuck on pe a pineapple peach saucer or, um, or it has a hold on me or something like that. I was like, pineapple peach and you know i love mexican food so like salsa i'm crazy over um so i'm like what is this girl talking about so i look it up and figure out which one she's talking about and so i texted to her like hey this the one and you know walmart has their great value brand but i was like nah nah i want the real one that she has and so i went to target and it's by the company good and gather and it's pineapple peach and it's made with pineapples peaches and jalapeno peppers and it's supposed to be mild heat so I'm so excited to try this one. There's a smaller one, but they didn't have it. So I just grabbed this one. I'm sure I'm going to eat it. So either I'm going to do tacos or I want to do like some fajitas. So that's definitely, and it has to be like $2 and change. It's not over $3, I believe. And then I got me some wax melts. This one is sun-kissed kiwi and it's green. And then I got a lavender and eucalyptus. Um, I like to get things with lavender, but not when it's just lavender, like especially if it's lavender or vanilla, something that helps balance it out because sometimes lavender can be overpowering to me and then it can smell like someone's grandmother's house. So no shade to your grandmother, but it be stank. <laughs> but this one smells really nice and it should definitely help with my anxiety. So um, shout out to Jasmine because I was on the phone with her while I was buying this stuff, but she was like, I think you just should get da, 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 da. I'm like, okay, girl. I just realized this one isn't as full as this one. Can y'all see that? It's not full. But I, um, in the store, I was even looking at them and flipping them up and down and stuff. So that's just how these 
these ones are and then this one's like packed to the room whatever so two of these and those are like two dollars as well and then of course well i can show like this i got this bad boy i've been wanting a wax woman for so long because i have um candles right and especially if you buy the bath and body work candles they don't burn all the way to the bottom and i'm not throwing it away because those candles are expensive yes i got them during the um candle day sale but still they're expensive you know so um i've been eating a wax on them for a long time but i just wanted to find one that i really like and the theme that i have kind of going it's not it doesn't really exist but it does exist um is black and white and gold for like my room my bathroom so i have a few items that's like that i'm not so big on decorating especially since this is my last year of school i don't really care but it's still worth a shot my bathroom is decorated um though um but i got this one and i just think it's so cute and i was trying to explain it to jasmine my sister i don't know if you call stuff like this um like an industrial type of design i don't know if i'm like wording it properly so if you come across this video and you know what I'm trying to say, I'm just not uh, that knowledgeable about it, let me know and just tell me what it is. But this really caught my eye and it's gold. Like who doesn't like gold? So I definitely got this one and this was $16. But say, uh, like I'm saying, going back to the college students, say this was too much for you to spend. They do have the wax warmers, but you can plug them in the wall as if it was like one of those wall plugins um like with the essential oils in a tiny little glass container so it's similar to that but it's a wax warmer and you put plug it in a wall and just put like one on top and then it'll you know melt like that and then it's just an on and off switch so you don't even have to unplug it you can just turn it off and on like that so that's really nice as well and then my handy dandy planner i really just need another planner um y'all I am never in my life going to spend $30 on a planner. I think this one was like $12 to $15. They do have some that are $10, but because I kind of like wanted something cute or whatever, so I was kind of willing to spend more money. But um, I'm never going to, I'm never going to spend probably not even $20. I'm, I can see myself not doing that either um, for a planner. It's just a planner and there's so many that you can find, especially on Amazon, that's a lower price. But when I looked up the ones from Amazon. Um, a lot of the ones I like were around the same price. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and get it. Uh, if you know me, you know I'm probably not a big fan of flowers, but when it comes to my planners, um, I don't trip about it because most of the time I end up getting one with flowers when I start comparing prices to the ones that I really like the most or whatever, when I know I really don't care as much, but I love the gold, that's, um, the gold accents that's throughout this whole thing. And then, what I also like in this book, I'm trying to see if it's gonna let me show y'all. Okay, so it shows today's top three things to do and then today's schedule and then things that I wanna do during the night. So it really is more organized in this one. That's kind of why I was willing to spend the money and it still wasn't expensive, you know? And then you still have your, um, your regular, you know, calendar days like this and then you still have your note sections and like um, important phone numbers, da -da 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 -da, birthdays, all that stuff in the calendar but a lot of calendars do not have the um where you separate your days and like each thing that needs to be completed this day and me knowing that i want to record more this year and i want to take youtube more serious but at the same time i kind of want to not kind of i need to be more organized especially since towards the end of the semester i'm gonna have to start prepping for the NCLEX, and i'm gonna have to come up with a plan where i study each and every day but have a cutoff time where I cannot study no more. Um, and then I have to figure out, you know, um, job interviews because I need to be having, uh, I need to have interviews before I even take my NCLEX. At least that's my plan. I need to have jobs set up or lined up to where whenever I take my NCLEX, get the results back, pray to God I pass on the first time. And then I just say, hey, um, I passed my NCLEX. When is my first day? That's how, you know, that's the plan that I have. And um, I just hope that's God's plan as well. But, you know, continue um, praying about it and writing it down, making it plain and letting God know what you want. Voice these things, voice these things to God so he knows, um, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. So, yeah, I'm just going to hope all this works out. But that is my handy dandy planner for this entire year. And this planner also started 
for this month in July. So I like that like, it goes all the way till next July. So I really like that as well. Hopefully I'll be um, a nurse by then. <laughs> Keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully I'm a nurse by then. And then y'all, so um, I also have two pairs of glasses. They're, they were $3 each. And these are blue light glasses to um, block the blue light, especially from our phones with me being on my laptop a lot, or even, you know, watching TV and stuff like that at night. Um, yes, I do. These glasses have blue light blocker on them, but it also has um, scratch resistant on them as well. And then it also has medicine in them. But um, I'm still waiting to get, you know, that stuff handled with my um, glasses that I'll need for like class time and stuff like that. But, um, I'll get that eventually. But yeah, I was it was crazy because I was looking on um she and some were three dollars, some were six, some were seven, some were eight dollars type of glasses like these. And then it's kinda like the girlies are all just crazy over these glasses. Now everybody wants to wear glasses just for the fashion sense of it, but it is really important to wear blue light glasses even if you have 2020 vision. Um because you know I, I really want to take care of myself while I'm young. I don't want to just get old and just have bad bad this or bad that some things um and i'm about to get a little nerdy right here i guess you could say but some things come with age but a lot of things don't that we associate with age so it's really important to do your research and just take care of yourself early on so you don't have those typical oh this is just part of old age because nine times out of ten most of the time it's not and sometimes it is but a lot of times it's not it's just common within our culture because of how we normalize certain things you know so that's pretty much it i'm trying to make sure i don't have anything in this bag y'all i spent like 80 dollars in there girls start working and don't know how to act girls start working they don't know how to act but no i feel like those are like essential those are things that i really needed i need a shampoo and conditioner i needed body wash i really the one thing that i wanted was the um well, I've been talking about that wax melt for like months now, and I'm tired of lighting my candles. Um, tired of doing that. But the, the things that I really wanted was the glasses and um, the salsa. So those were my wants. But everything else, I consider those are my needs. And then uh, these are just my apartment keys. So that's all. And then, you know, just have my receipt and stuff. And also, guys, um, I don't know if it's just me who likes to do this. Um, let me know um, if you have some better advice when it comes to saving money or flipping money. Da, 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 da. Um, I like to save money in my savings account, but that's like online, right? But I also like to have a money jar and this one is actually dedicated to my apartment. So whether any of this money goes to actually paying my rent, the one that's in the jar, but it can go to like towels from my apartment, just stuff like that. Um, that I don't know. I just know that um, getting my own place eventually, no matter if it comes directly after school or if it comes a year after school, two years after school, whatever the case may be, I do want to at least, you know, prove it to myself and also, you know, um, showing God that this is something that I really do want in the future. And so I just add in a little cash whenever I do have it and just drop it in my jar but along with that I save money online as well but um I'm getting ready to eat my food because it's cold now and I'm really mad about that and I can put it in the air fryer it's probably gonna dry out I don't know I don't know I don't know but um I'll probably show y'all how it looks when I hook it up and I also want to show y'all my glasses but I feel like I need to do my hair because yes it still look bad so don't come for me I'm working on that I'm getting my hair done Thursday Whenever Javon says she can come, I'm going to get my hair um, braided up just because, look at this. I just, I look bad. I look real bad. But anyway, um, I'll just come back a little bit later on and...